They just said the event to return. Does that mean you fighter jet? Excuse me? All right, guys. I have returned. And, uh, once again, I have, uh, Leo and Raffi with me. Hey, how's it going? But, yeah, we, uh, there is reason why, uh, me and Raffi are back with Zach once again. Because, yes, it is the return of Wing Commander. However, you guys are not going to believe this. There, for the SNES version specifically, which is, again, the version we're playing, for whatever reason, though, There is now an MSU one patch for Wing Commander on SNES. And this was released almost two years ago. This MSU one patch, the MSU one patch for Wing Commander on SNES was released on April 14th, 2020. And it is also how we're playing this. Another thing, though, we were able to replace quite a few of the tracks with some better sounding ones, specifically from an album from Wing Command, from a specifically from the remastered album of Wing Commander Two. However, since this is Wing Commander 1, not every track got replaced. Because there are a few Wing Commander 1 tracks that did not make it into Wing Commander 2. And what's more, oh boy, if you do not, if you decide not to change any of the, any of the tracks in this MSU patch, you're pretty much dealing with, and I kid you not, you're pretty much dealing with the FM town, with the soundtrack from Wing Commander 1 for the FM Towns. Yeah, that's the soundtrack you're dealing with with the uh, Wing Commander SNES MSU patch. Now, some of that is still within our patch, but we decided to put some of the remastered tracks from Wing Commander 2 uh, into this. Though they did come off a little loud, so 
fair. Um, just as a bit of a warning, there will be some. There will be um, a bit of static within the audio of this game because we are going to be running this off of SNES uh, 9X. And I'm going to be using my Switch Pro Controller for this. Because I did say that it not only counts as a Switch Pro Controller, but also a new PC gamepad. However, the PC gamepad half of it has to be wired. A fucking course. But the problems we have with the F310 shit, um, I don't think are actually getting applied to the, uh, to that controller itself. In terms of the wire, maybe, but the controller itself? Nah. Definitely not. Because it does require an, a separate connection. It, because, for this controller specifically, it requires a separate wire. It's not the controller and It's not a wire controller in one. It's not a controller and wire uh, put into one. This time, they're separate. Oh, I do wish the call was a little longer. Anyway, you guys ready to get this started? What do you say, Zach? You ready? Just to confirm, are we using the invincibility cheat or not? For the lose, uh, for the bad ending mission, for the missions leading to the bad ending, we will be using it because those missions are damn hard. Well, probably for poor Headland onward towards the bad ending. But Zach, seriously, dude, you were able to get past all those missions to Venice when you were a, when you were 14 years old. If you could do it once, you could do it again. So I would not recommend cheating. All right, but probably um, all right, but I'm gonna but I'm probably gonna start regretting it once we get to Dakota. For this, I have to disconnect my mouse. Because I need my controller plugged in. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? This means that once I open up SNES 9X, I have to confirm the inputs. Oh, you know what? Yeah. We will have to confirm it. My control pad hates me for whatever reason. Although, thankfully, we're not using the control pad. Fuck's sake. Come on.
Come on. Thank you. There! Fucking finally. Oh, for Christ's sake. Why is my down... Why is my down button being a bitch? It's the hell out of me. Anyway. Gotta film all that finicky shit done. I believe now we can get started. Yep. It's still the same sound effects, but the music is a lot different now. Anyway, Mindscape presents a Chris Roberts game. This game, unfortunately, had to stay untouched because this, there was no remastered version of this game created by the same person who made the week better to remaster soundtrack. And like we said, this uh, MSU patch was actually released almost two years ago now. Because once again, it was released on April 14th, 2020. And if you guys have not heard the OG theme to Wing Commander, because you've only ever heard the SNES iteration, the FF Towns, uh, the FF Towns version... Is proof of it. Uh, is proof of the actual original version. Because it's a lot longer than you think. There it is. And I know the credits might loop over, but the song is actually longer than you would originally think if you're more familiar with this version of Wing Commander. with that done now once again to show off the missions and with to show off the missions on the uh, on the path towards the bad ending we will be using um we will be using the invincibility cheat because those missions are actually harder than the missions on the path towards the good ending One and one thing is one not changing though. Also, the MSU patch has no fade out, which is what the original Wing Commander had. I do not know what's up with that. Yep. 
Yeah, I think you guys should have seen this coming. We're sticking with Snake. Yeah, I think you guys should have seen this coming. Our call sign is staying as Snake. Solely due to the fact that it's a Metal Gear Solid reference. If there is one track from the uh, FM Towns, um, from the FM Towns version that I love so much, it's actually the uh, arcade theme. Yeah. Oddly enough, I actually do like the arcade um, theme from the FM Towns release. Same, actually. So I think before we talk to people... Let's have you guys listen... To a banger of an arcade theme. Well, from 19... Uh, in terms of... Well... In terms of the 1990 standards. Now, don't get me wrong. This is actually also a true bar theme. Cause don't get me wrong, this sounds like a true rec room theme. At least in terms of the um, the FM Towns version. Now here's the weird thing about the FM Towns version of Wing Commander One, though. Not only did it get a, not only did Secret Missions One and Secret Missions Two get an FM Towns release. Those three games were also Japan. Were also Japan only for whatever reason Anyway, let's fly our training mission and have you guys listen to one of the best arc one of the best versions of the Wing Commander 1 arcade theme I love this. I love this arcade theme to death. All right, you salty bastard, come here. Come here. Whoa. Well, all right, you know what? As much fun as that theme was, I'm out of here. And to be fair, that that's only training, so. It's not like I died in a real mission. Anyway. Let's talk to some people. Betty on up, Brandon. Take a load off. You must be Snake. I'm Shot Glass. Welcome aboard the Claw. Used to be a pilot myself. Then the flea bag shot me up so bad I couldn't fly. I guess I flew with most every pilot on the Claw. So if you want to know one pilot or another fly, Oh, shock glass is the guy to ask. Stop by when you're off duty and we'll talk more. Now, once again, for those of you who have never heard of the SNES version of Wing Commander, some of the lines ended up getting censored. Thanks, Nintendo. Like this one right here. I am gonna, I am gonna uh, do Paladin's voice. By the way, Shot Glass is the barkeeper of the TCS Tiger's Claw. Right here, I am highlighting Major James Taggart, who goes by the name of Paladin.
Why do you always feel so safe while the band is streams, uh, Cessus? Don't get me wrong, they actually are good people, but... Zack, don't you fucking say it. Okay, moving on. Please, you two. I'd rather not bring up personal stuff. Anyway, Zach, you were talking about Major James Taggart, who has the call sign of Paladin? Yeah, Paladin's, uh, yeah, anyway, Paladin's, uh, origin is Scottish. So I know I'm gonna give him the best, uh, damn Scottish accent ever. It's fine, I'm from the Mega CD version of Wing Commander 1. Oh, laddie, take a seat and tilt a glass with old Paladin. I recall once when I was just a lieutenant like yourself there. We were flying patrol or a cord. The fourth planet of the Alliance system. These four Kirathi south, they came zooming in with the sun at their backs. What is the point, monsieur? There is one. We? Oui. I was leading up to Atlas. That day. We learned that a south they will always turn to the left. It's got something to do with the way their engines and nooks are arranged. So when you tell the south they watch to the left. That's where he'll go when he makes his break. Good to see you too, Nate. Um, Silver Sessus, that was... Um, uh, Leo and Raph, they have returned uh, to be with me for this one. Yeah, we were with him for the previous attempt, though. But that was be probably before the MSU patch came out? Yeah, somewhere around that time, I don't know. But I don't think the MSU patch for this game was out before then. Anyway, right here, with a French origin, we have Captain Jeanette Devereaux. Who has the call sign of Angel, for whatever reason. It's as if someone else is living inside my body. I am a man. I am a... Says this, I am a bird of many voices. I'll have you know. Bonjour, Lieutenant. You are called Snake. No, I am called Angel. I am just reviewing some figures on our recent encounters with the, with the Kirasi. You would like to know what I have learned, perhaps? The Dralthi is the Kirati fighter seen most in the sector. These figures show that 1.4 missiles are required to destroy the Dralthi. While over seven direct laser hits are necessary to destroy the same vessel. I hope this information is useful to you, Lieutenant. And if we check the pilot scores. In other versions of Wing Commander 1, 
And that goes double for the 3DO, uh, for the 3DO remake known as Super Wing Commander. The kill board displays ranks and last names. Not call signs, which is only ex exclusive to the SNES version. Anyway, I think that's it for the rec room. Yeah, Raph, you're right. Um, the MSU patch of Wing Commander 1 has no fade out. Whatever reason. Now, in each um, Wing Commander game, you have a starting system. And in the case of Wing Commander 1... It's the Enyo system. And our dateline is currently 2654.110. Now, to make things a little interesting. We're going to use the save state feature. In Wing Commander 1, with the exception of the Super Nintendo version, you are able to save your game before any mission. Which means if you completed mission three but failed mission four, if you completed, which means if you, for example, if you have failed mission four but you saved before going into the briefing room. You don't have to do Mission 3 again. Which is something the SNES version has, uh, has, oddly enough, decided to do. Now, if you actually die during a mission... You're not allowed... Now, in the SNES version, if you die in Mission 4... Thankfully, you are allowed to restart Mission 4 from the beginning. But you're not allowed to save before that. But that's not the biggest complaint. It's the fact that in Wing Commander 1 for the Super Nintendo, there is something called a password system. So if you le so if you turn off your game, and then when you come back, and then after you when you come back and input your code to to go in the si and then you put it you input the code to um, go to the system you're currently on. You unfo unfortunately, you have to start that system from the first. Uh, you have to start that system from the beginning. So, for example, if you had to turn off your game, but you were one mission away from completing, say, I'm going to use the system from this game. Say, uh, let's say you got the code for the. Gateway system. And in Gateway, you had to turn off your game, but you were on your but you were on the final mission. The next time you come back and input the code to get back to the gateway system. Gateway the gateway system has three missions. If you had no time to do gateway three and had to leave it for tomorrow. The next time you turn on the game and input the code for the gateway system, you have to start the gateway system from gateway one. You have to unfortunately go through the previous two missions in the gateway system again just to get back to where you once were. Yeah. So if you turned off your game at Gateway 3, the next time you turned your game back on and input the code, unfortunately, the SNES version 
forces you to replay the previous two missions in the gateway. Unfortunately, forces you to redo missions one and two in the gateway system before getting back into gateway three. It doesn't just, it does not put you back into gateway three. You have to redo gateway one and two in order to get back to gateway three. And that is not a joke. Yeah, that's not a joke. Thankfully, though, this is only... Thankfully, though, this is only a big complaint with the SNES version. Every other version does not have that. If for whatever reason, you are emulating the SNES version of Wing Commander, that means you have access to save states. And most likely during the second half of the game, safe states are going to be vital. Because the missions in the second half of the game literally are the definition of a difficulty spike. Even though other game even though there are other games that also um even though there are other games that also give you the definition of a difficulty spike with their second halves. Anyway, what do you guys say we get on with our first mission? Let's do it. Mission briefing. And your system, 0600 hours, 2654.110. We've got a lot of work to do, people, so let's get to it. The Tiger's Claw jumped from jump, dropped from jump space seven hours ago at 0800. Blue Devil Squadron at first patrol. You killer bees have the next shift. You rookies will be flying with experienced pilots on your first missions. I want the rookies to fly as wing leaders. You vets keep an eye on the kids out there. Here are the assignments. Snake, you're leading Alpha Wing. Spirit will fly on your wing. She's quiet, but she knows the ropes. You're the wing leader, but if Spirit talks, you be sure and listen. Got it? Yes, sir. Good. Here's your patrol plan, then. Computer, display Alpha. You'll check three possible jump points at about 20,000 clicks out. There are asteroids near nav points 2 and 3, so stay on course. Any questions? Yes, Commander. What are we to do if we encounter the enemy? Engage, if the odds look good. Let Snake make the call. Next is Beta Wing. Your thoughts wander as the Commander makes the rest of the assignments. And back to the Tiger's Claw. Remember, this is no trainsome. If, the en if you see the enemy, he'll be out to kill you. Be sure you do it to him before he does it to you. Squadron dismissed.
Yeah, there's the fade out. So anyway. I think we've done this once we can do it again. What, we'll go over ship specifications? What the fuck do you think? Let's pause the emulation. What we are currently in right now. The Colonel said we are... Colonel Peter Halcyon said that we are part of the Killer B Squadron. The Killer Bees fly fly the Hornet Light Fighter, the second fastest fighter in the game. The reason I say second is because later on, there's going to be a fighter much better than this. There, we're going to be test flying a fighter not only better than this, but faster than this. The maximum speed for the Hornet Light Fighter is is 420 kilometers an hour. Well, 420 k kilometers per second. Good fucking luck if you're still. Good fucking luck if you're currently in either the Chenju system or the Gateway system with no cheats. Um, without the invincibility cheat. Your only defenses are two laser bolt cannons. Two dark dump fire missiles, which do not lock on to enemies, they just fire straight as an arrow. And a javelin heat seeker missile. But that's all you're gonna get out of this fighter. With 40 in both frontal and uh, in both frontal and rear shields. This is uh, actually quite a nimble, fast fighter. Don't get me wrong. But if you lose your shields, you will. If you lose your shields against some of the toughest enemies, you will easily, easily go down within a few more shots. Nah, uh, I don't think you want that. You want to survive. Once again, though, if you are in currently in either the Gateway or Chenju system, good fucking luck surviving some of the encounters in a Hornet. Because that's what you're stuck with. Yeah. If you're on the, uh, if you're on the good ending path, though, you're only going to be in a hoarder for two missions. If you're on, if you're heading on the bad ending path, you're going to be in a hornet for a whopping eight, for a whopping eight missions. Thankfully, thankfully, and believe me when I say this, you're not in a hornet for the entire game if you're going for the bad ending. Because honestly, that would be the that would mean the game is just being unfair.
And plus, some of the um some of the more deadlier counters um uh in some of the in um in the latter half of the bad ending path. If you were in a Horda, you would stand no chance unless you had the invincibility cheat. Anyway, where were we? All right. Press minus Y, let's auto pop to nav one. See, there's static right there. It's only with the MSU patch, though. All right, first enemy of the game. My honor is to obey. Three Drolthy class medium fighters. We are fighting a cat race known as the Kill Rothy, mind you. Spirit. God damn it! They. You're not running. Oh, I think this one's coming for you. Oh, come on. Almost had him. Not today, bitch. Gotcha. Look, shit. Yeah, here he comes. Damn. Come here, motherfucker. Nice. I know I'm stupid for having my speed at 200 for a mission like this, but... I have actually practiced going through asteroids at a speed of 200, and I actually managed to do it. Anyway, that's nav 1 done. Now on to nav 2. And of course... Asteroid field. Of all fucking things. Wait. The asteroids are rotating. They didn't do that in practice, did they? No, I don't think they did. So we're lucky enough to have them rotate on stream. Well, I should probably focus on the game more than just this, because going through these is stressful. And it's a lot more stressful than you think in the PC version. Because any one of those asteroids can literally kill you. In the SNES version, it's only the one coming toward you that can kill you. By the way, if you hit an asteroid even once, instant death. Yeah, every one of these asteroids, or even mines for that matter, if it hits you, you're in it's an instant kill. If it if it hits you, it's a one hit KO. Meaning you're dead in one hit. So you can shoot them up if you want to, but some of them take way too long, so I would just recommend dodging them. Like Zach's doing right now. I don't think Zach's gonna come out of this no damage. I know he's not getting that promotion because if you want an instant promotion to first lieutenant, well, actually in Canada we call it a lieutenant. But if you want this promotion to first lieutenant, you need to get every kill in this first system, specifically with um, specifically with this one. Anyway, second enemy. As you probably just saw. <laughs> Not this shit. There. 
Jesus Christ. Nope, 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 nope. Thank fucking God. Whew! I really hate it when the salties do that. Salties are thankfully light fighters, but... They can get pretty damn annoying. Mostly with this version. Yeah. And... That's probably one thing I don't like about Salties. One enemy la that we might encounter later known as the Jolthy. It's got a bit of history. Just a wee bit, though. Not too much. Can I just say that we're only an hour in and already we're about to complete the first mission of the game? I don't know why I ended up wasting all my missiles, but... Eh, who gives a shit? So I think I only took minor damage that time. To your frontal armor, yes. You have to press select and exit uh, to select who you want to communicate with, by the way. Thankfully, the SNES iteration of Seeker Missions removes communication completely. Looks like it got a little hot out there, sir. Yeah, because that salty fucker was lucky to have hit me. I thought I was going to come out of this uh, unscathed, but... Apparently not. Alright. Welcome back, Snake. Looks like you survived your first trip out. He is a very able pilot, Commander. It is an honor to fly on his wing. That's high praise coming from spirit. You should be proud, Snake. In any case, according to your flight recorder, you flew well out there. Let's go over the mission report. You got five of the hairballs, Snake. And one kill Rothy for spirit. That's all then. Dismissed. feel as though that might be an error. I think there were five enemies and that should have been it that should have been four for Zack, one for Spirit. Well, he's well, he is one kill. Well, only one kill separates him and Maniac, so I was talking shot glass. I hear you flew with spirit yesterday, Snake. She's a she's a quiet little thing, but she's a heck of a fly. She's rock steady, follows orders, don't fire till she's sure of her shot. I was always glad to have spirit on my wing when I was still flying. Speaking of spirit, that it, that was none other than First Lieutenant Mariko Tanaka, who, as you can tell by her name, is of a is of a Japanese origin. Konnichiwa, Snake San. Please take a seat, if I may say so. You are doing quite well. C 
Colonel Sama is most pleased with your performance thus far. There was no need to praise me before before him, though, Honorable Second Lieutenant. The credit for a mission success is due to its leader, not his assistance. I see by your expression that you do not believe me. I assure you, I speak what is in my heart. Now right here is Captain Ian is Captain Ian St. John who goes by the call sign of Hunter. Believe it or not, he is of his origin is Australian. So he's from down under. You snake, right? They call me Hunter, mate. Good day. Spirit was tell me about your tumble with the hairballs. Sounds like you really mix it up out there. That's a way, isn't it, mate? Just see with some hairball twist about trying to get a missile lock. Formations, uniforms, medals, wingmen, that's all sheep dip. All Bruce could count on out there is himself and his missiles. And as you already know, we are still at the bottom of the kill board. With only, well, all we need is one kill and then we can overtake Maniac. All right. Oh, hey, how about... Oh. I have no idea what... Uh, what these, um... Small metals mean, like... In terms of, um... You know... Minor metals, but... Alright, let's pause the emulation and then save state. Even though, yeah, again, not really needed. Weird thing is, though... Zack, I believe, is no longer the only furry to have streamed a game of from the Wink Manor series. But... He is probably still the only furry ever to have streamed the very first Wing Commander. Yeah, true enough.
What do you guys think? Should we take a little break? Honestly, I'm going to recommend it. So I think right now we're going to take a little break. But when we come back, um, we will be starting off the... We will be starting off mission two, a.k.a. the final mission in the Enyo system. All right, see you guys in a bit.
Okay. Is all our happening for dinner tonight? Dude, no sour cream and no cheese, no tacos. Damn. Wait. It's a fucking Wednesday. Well, Zach, I know this Friday you and Jetty are continuing uh, Mario 3. I'm already dreading that. And I think I know why. Why are you already dreading it? Okay, actually, Leah, why is he already dreading it? We're currently in World 6. Oh no, the Iced World? Fuck World 6 and Mario 3. It's nothing but hell. Though I don't... Though I think... Though I do think that's off topic to the game we're currently playing. It is. That being said, let's get on with the uh, final mission of the Enya system, aka Mission 2. Twelve hundred hours, twenty-six fifty-four point one one zero. Forty forty minutes into the briefing, Epsilon Wing is Snake and Spirit. You'll be escorting a Draymond-class transport to its jump point. Computer, display Epsilon. Let's take a look at your flight plan. You'll rendezvous with the transport upon launch. Escort it to NAV point one. And on to NAV two, where we'll initiate jump sequence. Once it's jumped out, you'll return by the most direct route. Remember, your job is to make sure that transport jumps out. I don't want you leaving her to chase down bogeys. If the enemy retreats, you stay with the transport. Questions? Yes, sir. Why is Nav-1 so far out of the way? There's an asteroid field between the Tiger's Claw and the jump point. A fighter might navigate it, but a Draymond Sport would never make it through. Anything else? All right then, let's get to work. Squadron dismissed. If you skip this, by the way, the music still plays for whatever reason in the MSU patch for this game.
Oh, you're gonna do the uh, Draymond voice from Sega CD? Yep. Glad to have you with us, Second Lieutenant Snake. Now it's the same enemies as Mission 1, only this time, in terms of nap points, they're in reverse. Excuse me, Commander. I have noticed in the ships. My honor is to obey. Now they will head straight for the transport. So if you can get in behind them. Damn it! Thought I had him. Mine. As far as bear, but he's mine. Whoa, shit. Oh, no, you don't. No, you fucking don't. Shit. Oh, there you are. Come on. Gotcha. Whew. My back shields took a beating. My back armor took a bit of a beating, though. One thing I kind of hate about escort missions, though, is that once you reach that point, if you uh, go way too fast, you need to wait for your escort. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I didn't realize he was, like, coming right for me. Now, the second nap point, I believe, is three. Drolfi should be easy to take out. Excuse me, Commander. I have noticed in the ships... No, you don't. Come here. Come here, you cat bastard. Go. Damn it. Why is that fire off missile? Damn. He went down fast. Come on. He's mine. Mine, spirit. Sorry, but he's mine. Come here, bitch. Okay, maybe I should slow. Whoa! Christ! Whew! Mother of Christ! I hate it when the AI ships do- I hate it when the enemy ships do that! It can literally cost you one of your- one of four sides of your shields. Now I think we have to wait until it jumps. Yep, you have to wait for it to jump. It usually it does that. Seconds later. Goodbye. Now we could go directly back to the Tiger's Claw. But there's an asteroid field in the way, and that takes an ag. I'm gonna say that take that makes it take a little I'm gonna say that adds in a bit of time to the return. So we're gonna go via nav one. If I was out, you wasted quite a bit of fuel. Wait, did I? Yeah, I think you did. Okay, not quite.
Alright. And that's it. That is the entire Enyo system. Done. Looks like it got a little hot out there, sir. Tell me something I don't know. Good job out there, Snake. The sport jumped right on schedule. You covered her well. Thank you, sir. But Spirit deserves as much credit as I do. Snake son is too kind, sir. I only flew on his wing. At any rate, that was some nice flying. Well, this should be the mission report. Snake, you took out five kill Rafi. Spirit got one of them. The Dream and Spore made his jump on schedule. And Snake, I want to see you in my office in a couple of hours. That's all then. Dismissed. Snake, come in. I need to speak with you. Yes, sir. We'll be leaving Enyo soon, and I need to make some personnel changes. Effective immediately following the jump, you'll be reassigned. I want you in a scimitar class medium fighter with Blue Angel Squad with Blue Devil Squadron. Yes, sir. You won't be sorry. Good. I'm glad to hear it. That's all then, Second Lieutenant. Dismissed. Apparently this theme was also in the PC version, but this was considered to be an unused version. For meritorious conduct and confronted the kill rot the enemy. In the Enya system, on or about 2654.110. The Terra Confederation is proud to present the Bronze Star to Second Lieutenant Snake. Your courage is exemplary of the defense. Confederation's finest defenders. Good, good job, Snake. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Filled with pride, you meet the applause of your fellows. And with that, we are in the McAuliffe system. Uh... We need to write this down. Hang on. I think I have a, uh... Yep. Alright, so... This time around, it is one... R. C. C. M. C. B. M. G. W. But, we did say we were also going to show off the missions on the, on the path towards the bad ending. The first of them, if you failed at least one mission in the Enyo system, You would not be called to Colonel Halcyon's office, and you would instead stay in a hornet, and you would jump, and the Tiger's Claw would jump to the Gateway System. Now we are going to save state here. But, now we're going 
to reset the game. But first, we need to confirm which series it is. Yeah, we need to confirm what system. Give me one second here. Now... Oh wait, I know what... Oh wait, I know how we can uh, figure this out. Oh, yeah. That's right. Thank you, Wing Commander CIC. Anyway, where were we? Oh, okay. Thought it was still paused for a minute. So, now I have to do this. B A B Y B Y L A R A. Boom! Why is it why is it nothing but a joke to do with the pro controller whereas with the F310 it was somewhat of a bitch? No idea. Anyway, the series we want for the gateway system is three. Now of course because the uh, missions on the bad ending path are actually harder than the missions on the good ending path. We are going to be using the invincibility cheat. Meaning only hazards, with the invincibility cheat, only hazards can kill you. Yeah, only hazards can kill you. So before we do the McAuliffe system, so before we do the McAuliffe system, which is uh, your first, uh, which is your first experience in a scimitar. We're doing the gateway system, which if you failed the annual system, would have you stay in a hornet.
Now, uh, just be forewarned. If you beat a system with the invincibility cheat and then turn the game off, when you turn the game back on and input your code, your invincibility will be gone. Anyway. Now, for each of the bad ending systems, we will be resetting our sorties and kills to zero as well as resetting our rank to second lieutenant. Anyway, that's Ice Man and Nat over there. Nat's a darn reliable pilot. A solid shot, a steady flyer. Not flashy at all. He's sort of a crisp. Gets the job done, though. Iceman, though, now he's an artist. Best pilot on the tiger's claw. Lives to fly and to fight. He's totally ruthless, but com and completely deadly. Some of the pilots say he's got free on for blood. At least that's where we got the call sign. Right here, the deadliest pilot on the Tiger's Claw is Major Michael Casey, who goes by the name of Iceman. This is going to shock you guys. Iceman's origin? Canadian! I have read the Secret Missions Manual. He is from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Yeah, the deadliest pilot on the claw is a Canadian. Snake, snake, they call me Iceman. Don't let night fool you. Skim's a gun-heavy slug. Forget finesse, just head straight in, guns blaring. Give me a ship that takes skill. A raptor, even a hornet. But one of those new rapiers. If half of what they say is true, the rapier is a true artist's ship. And then right here, we have Captain Joseph Kumalo, who goes by the call sign of Knight. For whatever reason, Yup, snake, right? I'm not. Welcome to the killer bees. You're flying a hornet right now, right? Ever flown a scimitar? It isn't quite as fast or as nimble as a hornet. But she's got twice the arm as well as heavier guns. And she handles like a centurion mud pig. Iceman, he'll tell you. But try to tell you speed and handling save you every time. But I'll take an extra three centimeters of doors to plating any day. Knight's dialogue in the McAuliffe system is altered. We will be talking to him again once we get to the once we end up learning that state in the McAuliffe system. Yep, gateway system.
Now, once again, if you're in the gateway system, you get a new wingman, but you're still in a hornet. Mission briefing, gateway system. Six, oh, 600 hours. Welcome to the gateway system, boys and girls. There, these are the assignments for preliminary patrols. The commander quickly makes the wings. Delta wing. That'll be you flying lead, Snake. Paladin, you'll be flying wing. And a pleasure it'll be, Colonel. Right. Computer display Delta. You'll follow a simple three-point route, gentlemen. Just fly to the nav points and make sure they're clear. We're picking up some debris around nav one. Probably just asteroids, but it could be a Kirathi minefield. So be especially careful in that area. Questions? Alright then. Epsilon Wing is Iceman and Angel. Listen as the Colonel completes the mission assignments. That's everyone. Last questions? No hands are raised. Good. Let's get to work. Squadron dismissed. Now there's a reason why the bad enemy missions are harder than the good enemy missions. I shit you now, there is a reason why, and it is solely due to this mission. I mean, yeah, you're in a hornet with Paladin. And Nav1 has no enemies. Thank God. Even though, yes, there is an asteroid field. But Nav's, actually Nav 3 specifically in this mission, is the biggest giveaway as to why the bad ending missions are hard as hell. Whoa. They get turned a little too quickly there. Yes, or not. You know. What? They're not rotating. Yeah, I don't know why they're not rotating. Anyway. It's not this nap boy. Blast! The enemy are upon us! Bloody, let me loose, will ya? Got ya covered, bloody! Shit, I raced a missile. I don't know if I meant that. Okay, that works. I think it's more salty here, actually. Yeah, I think he's got it. Oh, no, you're not getting away from me.
There we are. Tell you what, let me turn the volume down just for you guys. Those other ones coming back? Go. Uh. Oh, I think they went to the nap point itself, so they're probably gonna wait for you there. Uh, that could be the case. Nope. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? What do we have here? What do we have here? Have the chickens returned? Don't go so fast. Oh, they have returned all right. You don't. When you go, when you go down, but that's not the worst of it. Now, if you thought four salties was bad enough, nav three is worse. At least without the invincibility cheat. Grathas immediately. Now. And the fact that Grothas are heavy fighters? And to make things worse, they have mass drivers. Paladin? Okay, you know what? You guys start getting the other one. I'm left with only my guns, mind you. Got it. Come here, you cat bastard. Thankfully, Grothas are considered to be heavy fighters, so... In a light-ass fighter such as this?
Wow, look at my look at my fucking shields. And I have no damage to report. Wait, you have no no damage to report? My armor took a fucking beating though. I mean shit. We got some scimitars out. Snake, you're clear to land. But yeah, that is a, um, only, you sure got yourself shot up, sir? But that's only a, pr that's only just a taste of what's to come with the, with the path that leads you to the bad ending. Good job out there, Snake. You, you made it look like you've been at this for years. It wasn't half as smooth as Paladin here, sir. Now, laddie, don't brag on me, or the Colonel will start expecting more from me. Looks like we've got a serious Kirathi presence here. Tactical will be glad to get your report. I reviewed your mission report upstairs. You scragged six Kirathi, Snake. And Paladin came up empty. That's all then. Dismissed. And within one mission, we tie Maniac on the kill board. Pause simulation here. Though, I think um, the Enyo and Gateway systems are going to be the only two systems we might be showing off tonight. Either way, though. Get that done. Let's talk shot glass. You met Maniac and Bossman over there yet? Maniac's a real lunatic. A good pilot, but way too erratic. He was just coming up when the flea bags put me out of commission. Just between you and me. I'd rather fly alone than with Maniac on my wing. Boss man's another story, though. 
He's a real team leader. A crack pilot with 17 years behind him. Thrown everything in the Terran fleet. And blown up at least one of every class to kill Rotha Hare. Uh, Zach, I think you know Maniacs for the Sega C version, so I think I'd rather uh, I'll let you take this one. Hey, Snake! I'm Maniac! Glad to meet you! Ha! Bossman says we're gonna see some, actually get some battleships soon! I can't wait! Dodging flak and fighter cover to make a misrunner to destroy her? Man, that'll be a rush! Ha ha! Get in there quick! Waste the mama cat! Then pick the kittens off, one by one! That's the way to do it! If you're in a heavy fighter, yes! If you're in a light fighter on the other end, that is not the way to do it. And that, by the way, is Second Lieutenant Todd Marshall. Who goes by the name who goes by the call sign of Maniac, and as you expect, and as you may have expected. What is Knight's um origin? African, hands down. Which part of Africa though? Southern? Maniac, on the other hand, he is definitely American. Maniac's origin is hands down the United States of America. Now, right here, we have Major Chien Ken. Kien Chen of China. Yeah, boss man is Chinese. Sit down, Snake. They call me boss man. I've been watching you. You look good for a rookie. You handle yourself well in a dogfight. But we are going to be facing some bigger ships soon. Alright, some serious action! A lot of young pirates get excited when they see their first destroyer. Just what do you mean by that, boss? They lose their heads and go straight in for the battleship. Then a right fighter they forgot about blasts them from behind. Big ships move slow and turn like peaks. Thing to do is clean up the fighter cover first. Then go in for the battleship. Now that is actually the smarter way to do it. Alright. Now our second mission in the gateway system... Now, if this was your second mission in the McAuliffe system, you would be dealing with a capital ship. Unfortunately, for Gateway 2, no, you're not dealing with any of that. In fact, McAuliffe 2 is a strike mission. Gateway 2 is the opposite. Emergency briefing at 1130 hours. Got a code red alert, people. At least a half dozen kill Rothy fighters are coming in fast. While Blue Devil and Riot and Star Slayer squadrons are, on, are out, out on patrol. You killer bees will have to stop them yourselves. We've got two hornets in space already. And we'll scramble the remaining wings at double time. 
Snake, you and Paladin will be first out of the launch tube. Iceman and Dragon will be next. Followed by Bossman and Redbird. Remember, people, this is for all the marbles. So stop those fighters or you have no place to land. So let's get to it. Squadron dismissed. That was enough. Look at this map! Look at this map! There is literally nothing on this map! Aside from the Tiger's Claw! We are capoing for this mission and all we need to do is protect the Tiger's Claw from two waves of enemies. That's it! The fuck happened there with your follower count? Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's okay, we're fine. Blast! The enemy are upon us! Gotcha covered, bloody! Cat bastard. Got I Make sure you get past the tire. You just need to make sure we get past the tire. though. Come on. Oh, Jesus. You coming? Lordy, let me loose, will ya? Oh, Jesus. What? No, you don't. Sometimes the music could go silent uh, when you when you immediately autopilot after you're done with the fight. I think I have to increase my speed to zero. Oh God! And that's all she wrote. Only four enemies. All of them are draw. You got away pretty clean, sir.
That's just a quick cleanup mission. Excellent work, Snake. You too, Paladin. Congratulations to the both of you. You might say I was inspired to a great effort, Colonel. I just did what had to be done, sir. You fought off the Drothy before we could even launch the next wing. We've already gotten a mission report. It shows you took out four, Snake. And none for Paladin. That's all. Dismissed. Alright, one final mission for McAuliffe. Eh, McAuliffe. Gateway. Hey there, Snake. Get you something? I'm glad to see you and Paladin getting along so well. He'll be retiring soon, you know. Been flying fighters for 20 odd years. And now they're putting them off the pasture. He and I used to fly together before the war started. Darn good man. The old claw missing. I'd like to tell you, laddie. It's been good flying with you. We'll be pulling out a gateway soon. And the colonel likes to shake up the wings every now and then. So let me give you one last piece of advice. A young wingman ain't gonna stick by you the way I have, lad. That's no criticism of him now. Just a fact. A youngster's got a name, name to make and a career to think on. He be looking to make a hero of himself. An old man like myself, on the other hand. Well, I I'm just wanted to make it back so I could retire in one piece. Oh, boss man's still here. Sit, sneak, sit down. I want to compare notes with you. I've been watching the way Drowthy maneuver, and I think I've noticed something. Seems to me when you're hot on a Drowthy's tail, and he pulls a rope to shake you. He always goes up or down, never to the sides. Ever notice that? You shrug in tentative agreement. Well, they do. Always up or down, never left or right. You're no lad. I believe you're right. I think it's because those big wings block their visions to the sides. But above and below, between the wings, their vision is clear. It's actually good enough information, oddly enough. Alright! Time for the final mission in the gateway system and the s and the final mission of the stream. At 1200 hours, so new. All right, folks, we're pulling out from gateway tomorrow. But before we do, we've got a few tankers and sports coming in. Since yesterday's attack on the Tiger's Claw. It's clear we need to be especially vigilant in escorting these ships. Now here are the assignments for transport escorts. The Colonel makes the assignment for the wings. You draw the final run. Snake and Paladin will take the last detail. Here's the flight plan. And we are apparently Sigma Wing. You'll meet a Draymond class transport here, Nav 1. As soon as it arrives, the spore will head for the tiger's claw. It'll be moving at top speed and won't deviate from its shortest course. So you'll have to protect it from any attackers. Stay with her. Don't let enemy fighters draw you away from the tanker. Now, I've got one more bit of intelligence to pass along to everyone. We believe Burak Starkiller may be in the system. 
Biorax Star Killer, sir. He's one of Kirill's, he's Kirill's hottest pilot and the selfie light fighter. We don't know where he's likely to turn up. But one wing or another is bound to run into him. So let so look alert out there, alright? Squadron dismissed. God, I I'm feeling lightheaded. Here we go. Oh. Got your covered, laddie. Some of this? Kept you waiting, huh? You know, he really knows how to deal with Grouts and a Hornet. Yeah, but he lost, I believe, his right shield this time. Whoa! Hello! God damn, right in front of your face, too. Also, I got a question for you guys. Should we upload this to you? Laddie, let me loose, will ya? Got ya covered, laddie. All right, where is he? Where the fuck is he? That's not him. Oh, 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 I saw him. There he is. Come here, asshole. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, you're coming back, eh?
really hate it when they do that. Gotcha! Woo! Is there one more we're forgetting about? Blast! The enemy are upon us! Yar! Bloody, let me loose, will ya? Not needed. You you need yeah you need to get back to Raymond. Oh, oh there it is. Whew! How's up? I should have straight for a mission. Yeah, just rescue the dra- Yeah, just be able to dream and have one and then just bring it back home. Looks like it got a little hot out there, sir. You're telling me. I do think we should do that. put this to you too. If you fail to kill Burak Star Killer, you will get the failure music. Well done, gentlemen. The sports skipper asked me to thank to commend you both. And my personal congratulations for dispatching Burak Star Killer. I'm just glad to get that fuel back to the claw, sir. Now don't go discounting the fun and giving the hairballs a black eye lad. Enough of that though. Let's review the mission. You racked up five, Snake. And Paladin came up empty. And you shot down Burek Starkiller. Everything else aside, Snake, that was excellent work. And I want to see my office later, Snake. Dismissed. Snake, come in. I need to speak with you. Sir, I've been speaking with Sector. Co Whoa! Oh wow! The brass be reviewing your record, and I have good news. The order came in this morning. I've been authorized pr to promote. Congratulations, First Lieutenant Snake. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. We'll be leaving Gateway soon, and I need to make some personnel changes. Effective immediately following the jump. You'll be reassigned. I want... Oh. That's all then, First Lieutenant. Dismissed. Silver Star? For meritorious conduct and confronted to kill Roth the enemy. In the gateway system, on or about. The Terra Confederation is proud to present the Silver Star to First Lieutenant Snake. Your courage is exemplary of the Confederation's finest defenders. Good job, Snake. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Filled with pride, meet the applause of your fellows. Meanwhile, Terran Research Colony, McAuliffe 4, McAuliffe 6. Hey, Shinobi, how you doing? Kirathi Marines invading McAuliffe's civilian research installation. Met desperate and resourceful human scientists. Armed with... Uh, Immenable courage and an impetuity, the researchers managed to capture the entire... Kirathi Platoon. Still play Cyber Sleep? Eh, that's good to know. 
The brimstone system is one of two systems that if you first got on to the failure, to the bad ending path, this system will give you, this system can, is a, this system gives you a chance to redeem yourself and put you back on the path towards the good ending. Spoilers for the brimstone system, though. You fly in a scimitar with Maniac. However, the brimstone system is not the only system that gives you a chance at redemption. That gives you a chance at redemption and puts you back on the path towards the good ending. There is another system that does this. However, it is also that system is also considered to be the hardest system in the game. And I'm sad to say this, but we are definitely and I'm sad to say this, but we are going to have to show that off. However, unfortunately, Shinobi, I'm sorry if your visit here was short-lived, but that is going to have to do it for the stream. Though, if we load back up. This is our current playthrough. We are currently in the, Mc in the McAuliffe system. But, once again, the McAuliffe system is going to have to wait until next stream. Which, unfortunately, is not this coming Friday. Because this coming Friday... No, 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 Shinobi. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay, Shinobi. I will be posting this playthrough to YouTube. Not even kidding. I'm going to be posting this playthrough to YouTube. But anyway. But at any rate. No love this stream. Um. Okay, first off. How long has it been since you've had some uh, since you've had a notification pop up? Two weeks, dude. Holy shit! Either way, though, we're gonna find somebody to raid. Also, Shinobi. If you didn't notice, if you noticed a little something about the soundtrack in SNS Wing Commander, we are playing that with an MSU One patch that actually got released almost two years ago now. Yeah, that MSU patch came out in 2020. Who should we raid though? Two weeks that Shinobi with the one on a bit saying two weeks that won't do. Total of nine hundred bits, and that is nine hundred bits total from Shinobi. Thank you so much, dude, for those hundred bits. I that that really helps me out. Also, March tenth. Put a reminder on there. March tenth is when Chocobo GP comes out on Switch. And thankfully, I have pre-ordered the light version, which is free. 
and I will be doing it. Hmm. You know, I'm thinking Slush Dog here. I'm really thinking Slush Dog. Everyone needs a little love once in a while. Once in a while, yeah, you're not wrong there. You're not wrong. Everybody does need a little love and a little uh once in a while. Especially, wait, wait a minute. Let me refresh Free Watch again. Especially Slush Dog, who's currently doing a Monster Hunter Rise. And by the way, that is Slush Dog with two G's. Indeed. Or would you guys rather do Jinda? Jinda Wolf? You know, we it has been a while since we have raided him, so let's do that. So, once again, this stream... Once again, this stream will be posted to YouTube... And yeah, we want to thank everybody so much for watching. And yes, we are doing a full playthrough. And yes, Zach is going to be... And yes, Zach is not allowed to use the invincibility cheat for the good ending missions. Bad ending missions he is. Either way, though. Bless your face. If you see something on the stream, bless you. And until then, this has been Raph Septicai, Leonator, and Zachary the Hawk. Had to try and provide him. Okay, that said, once again, this has been Raph Septicai, Leonator, and Zachary the Hawk. Signing off. See you guys then. <laughs>